Thanks so much for tuning in today to Health Matters. I'm Marissa Perlman. Today I am lucky enough to be joined by Dr. Rob Finelli. He is the Chief of Minimally Invasive Surgery and Surgical Endoscopy here at Guthrie Health. Dr. Finelli, thank you so much for being with My us. My pleasure, Marissa. Dr. Finelli, how important is early detection um, in terms of a pancreatic cancer diagnosis? It's critically important to increase survival. So for example, most patients have a tumor that's three centimeters in diameter when we identify it, and the survival is only 24%. But if we can detect that earlier, when it's smaller, then the chances for increased survival are great. Are great. And what are some of the symptoms that we could look out for for pancreatic cancer? People with pancreatic tumors often get jaundice. They, that's a yellow coloration to their skin or the whites of their eyes. Sometimes the urine will turn dark along with that as well. And sometimes they'll develop abdominal or back pain. Okay. Okay. And what treatment options does Guthrie Health um, offer for pancreatic cancer? We use an integrated approach. We use endoscopic ultrasound for diagnosis, and we can get sampling and staging information. We have medical oncologists and radiation oncologists and surgical oncologists who all work together as a team to treat the patient and seek out optimal outcomes. Okay. And how does endoscopic ultrasound help detect um, pancreatic cancer early? It's a very sensitive test. So a CAT scan is really good for seeing things that are over one centimeter in size. It can find about 85% of lesions that are about one centimeter. Endoscopic ultrasound is close to 100%, but below one centimeter in that area where we really want to find them early, endoscopic ultrasound is 90% or better, and CT scan is only about 60%. Okay, okay. Dr. Finelli, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for Health Matters.